YouTube, this is uh, Mr. Old School Rider back at you one more time with a quick update on my carburetor rebuild. I actually got it back from Mr. Carburetor. Shout out to him from NC the Hill, Texas, of course. Off of 67. All uh, right, now this is my uh, Oldsmobile Quadrajack non electronic carburetor. A lot of people are trying to get me for it, they always ask. Man, I mean, once you put the LS in there, can I go ahead and get the carburetor and distributor off? Nah, I'm keeping, I'm keeping, I'm keeping everything. You know, eventually, I might put it in something else. But in the meantime, this is going in the Oldsmobile until I get all my pieces for my LS set up. Wow, that looks, man, that thing looks brand new, man. This is not paint, this is powder coated. I try to scratch it up real good, but that stuff is on there really nice. I don't know if you can really see on the inside, but look how good they look on the inside. Man, most of the time people want to go ahead and dip your carburetor in that cleaner. Let it soak up for X amount of time. Yeah, I mean, it cleans it up real good, but eventually you're going to have problems with it. I know that General Motors ain't the best on certain things. They be trying to be cheap. On certain parts of the car, I know back in the day it was some type of electronic coating, or whatever was on there, but it flakes off after a few years anyway. And by doing it this way, having it powder sandblasted all the way down to the metal. Look at that, that's a cute jet that bop. Have my factory uh, cylinder for the air conditioning. He said it does actually work when you put some uh, fire on it, it actually clicks. Man, most cars I see with the car right, this don't even work. And people have to adjust the hell out of it to make it run right. Put all the pieces on there. Like some type of vacuum advance. That's another one. He also put a new filter on it, so I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. I'm proud of this thing, my goodness. I can't wait to slap this on next week. I'll give you guys an update when I fire this thing up. One more time. Look at that. Don't be hating. Shout out to the young boys and people that don't know what doing with their car. Don't just take your carburetor in and buy it. Just go ahead and take it. If you're in the DFW area, just go ahead and take it to Mr. Carburetor and see the hell. He'll take care of you. If you even drive it up there, he'll help you adjust the carburetor if you got problems with it. Whenever he rebuilt it, it, set on, it got it set back to factory. Depends on your timing on your car, of course, or truck or whatever. You might have to do some uh, little tinkering with the timing if you have to. But most of the times when he set it to factory, you slap this on your car, pack the gas a couple times, let that gas get in there. It's going to fire right up. Right on the money. I can't wait to slap this on here myself, man. I'm so proud of this thing. He normally put a sticker on here, but I guess he must have ran out. Also, don't forget to put your vacuum hoses on your car just go ahead and do all your vacuum hoses new it ain't that much per foot i was on o'reilly's whoever got them just go ahead and put your vacuum uh, lines back on that new don't try to use the old stuff or go to the junkyard or try to block them all just make sure all your stuff is working on your car if you're going to modify it you might well get some aftermarket parts at least they'll be modified don't be messing with the factory stuff think you're going to get horsepower or try to save some weight yeah it works for a little bit of time but eventually, you're going to pretty much kind of mess things up. And don't forget, whenever you get new fuel parts on your vehicle, go ahead and get your new fuel pump. Drop that tank. Clean the lines out real good and make sure there ain't no uh, particles in there. And with that ethylon gasoline, that corn, after a while, it breaks down. It can cause some problems. I know some people say you can put some Lucas in your gas or whatever the case may be. But I always put some uh, stay bill in there. That's some good stuff. Use it every time you fill your gas tank. I mean, every time you um, change your oil or if you're going to have it sitting for a long period of time. Just go ahead and pour that boy in your gas tank and fill it up and let it sit for a while. But every now and then, just go ahead and crank it up every so often. But I'm out of here. Mr. Old School Rider, holla at you later.